What's going on everybody? Uh, today I wanted to bring you guys a little video of how to better optimize your games uh, for gameplay. In case you get, you know, those tiny micro stutters and, and whatnot, the little input lags that happen in some games. And the, the way that I have found out that works best for me. Um, I downloaded this little program here called NVIDIA Inspector. I'm sure everybody has this, everybody uses it, and everybody probably knows how to do this. However, there may be a couple people who don't, so I'm here for you. So you download this little NVIDIA Inspector, and you open it up, and it looks like CPU-Z. Pretty much exactly the same, except gives you information for your GPUs. And maybe everybody's seen this, and you know, you get your typical overclocking. And this is maybe all they use it for, if they even use it at all. However, you click this, this little wrench screwdriver icon here. And it brings up this gibberish, pretty much, to anybody else who looks at this. I don't know what the hell it all means. It's pretty intense. However, you get this list of games, this huge library. I, there's got to be every single game that's ever been created is in here. I'll take Battlefield 3 for example. So you search for Battlefield 3 and now the profile is going to change to change whatever they changed in here. Bunch of stuff I don't know what it is. Now you can click apply changes but then you have to like select that profile later on and you're not it's not quite you know you're not done yet if you just click apply changes you click this little button here add application to current profile you find your battlefield or whatever game you are doing's exe and you click up open didn't really see anything changing here i don't think anything does except for right up here it says battlefield3.exe. That's how you know that it is now open in here. Now you can click apply changes. And that's it. It is literally that simple to do with any of your games that you're playing. And as soon as I did that, I had noticed that everything was a lot smoother. I wasn't getting that input lag. And I definitely wasn't getting these tiny micro stutters that I'm getting on my... Uh, my 2670 so I highly recommend trying this out if you have any questions or comments just leave them in the comment section below and I, I'll get back to you I always always answer all of my comments um, any other crazy overclocking videos or anything like that that you'd like to see just let me know and uh, until next time